Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Now, that's my longtime greeting, right? Those of you who've been around for a while might remember that I used to actually say that. And then that kind of became a thing to the point where when someone was nice enough to make that awesome intro that you see at the start of all my videos, he incorporated that into the intro. Now, once that little slogan was in the intro, it seemed redundant to then say it at the beginning of every video, so I stopped saying it. But here's the thing. I miss saying it. I really like saying it. It was kind of my shtick, and it's been gone for a long time now, and I'm kind of bummed about it, so I'm bringing it back. I'm going to start all my videos with the familiar Hello Internet Big Dave here, and I am cheap, just because I want to. Now, with that self-serving schlock out of the way, let me go ahead and move on to the reason for this video. This is another one of those check-in videos, like the one I did a couple of months ago, I think it was in October, just to let you guys know what's going on. It's been a couple of weeks since I released my top 10 video, and things are moving along here in the world of Big Dave. So I want to kind of lay out the next couple of months here for you guys, let you know about the hiatus, how it's going to affect everything, and exactly how we're going to resolve things going forward to get the channel back into some regular content eventually. Ah, right, before I forget, the gameplay that's on your screen right now. Uh, first, let me just say, I absolutely hate videos where people just talk over gameplay footage that is just random, and there is absolutely no connection to what's going on whatsoever. But despite the fact that I hate that, my webcam is packed up, and you really don't want to see my ugly face anyway, so I'm just going to talk over some random game footage. This should be Don't Starve from Clay. Clay, of course, the guys who brought you Mark of the Ninja and the Shank games. This is a really, really interesting survival game. Great sense of humor. Great aesthetic overall. Really love it. It's in beta right now. 12 bucks on Steam. Nets you two copies of the game. Beta access and the eventual release. Lots of updates going into the game in the last couple of weeks. Really, really loving it. I've probably got 15, 16, 20 hours into this game. Just owned it for about a week now. Really, really loving it. It is, uh, it's kind of recapturing some of the wonder and awe that I felt in the first couple of weeks of owning Minecraft, and I really, really like that. I didn't think another game in that same sort of survival genre would be able to do that, but Don't Starve has in fact done that. So really happy with the game. Check out the footage on your screen, and uh, eventually I'll try to do a full video on Don't Starve once it is actually officially released. So now that you know what the heck you're looking at, let's move on to our checking in. Let's get to our agenda. What are we going to talk about? Well, first up, I want to talk about the giveaway that we've been doing, the 200 video celebration and giveaway. I've kind of hit a wall with this giveaway. I've given away all of my Steam gifts, the ones I can just send through Steam, whether you're online or not. And I've torn through most of the people who I see regularly online. BigDaveIsCheap.com has an updated list of the games, and I still have a good 15 or so games to give away. I want to give those games to you. I want to give those games out. So if you want any of those games, if you've added them to your wish list, I just need you to contact me directly so that I can send you the code via email and I can stop trying to get online and play tag with people and send them codes. So if you're interested in any of the games that remain on the list, just drop me an email at BigDaveIsCheap at gmail.com. Tell me which games, and I will email you the code directly. I want all these games to go to someone who will play them, so if you will play any of those games, let me know. Don't be shy. I have given several people multiple games. Don't be shy. Ask for as many as you'd like, and you may receive all that you wish for. So speaking of the 200th video celebration, let's talk a little bit about my 200th video. That was the top 10 games I enjoyed in 2012 video, and I have to say that after watching it back a couple of times, I'm really not all that happy with it. I've been trying to consistently improve my editing and my sort of video construction abilities. That is to say, when I have a, a bunch of source material that I need to splice together into an edited video. But I really feel like I fell short in this one, and I'm very often my own worst critic, and in this case, well, no, I mean, there's somebody out there who is a far worse critic than me. You know, they say, oh, everything you do sucks. But from a constructive standpoint, I am definitely my own worst critic, and uh, I really just wasn't happy with this video. Uh, if I look at something like my Bundle in a Box Deep Space Bundle video, that's a video that I think I built from the ground up 
and really, really excel in my content creation right there. That's one of the videos that I will point to as, as one of my proudest moments. I really liked that video. I worked so hard on it and I really think it turned out well. I think it shows. In this video, I didn't work nearly as hard and it shows. I struggled just to get the footage for the 11 games and by the time I got all that footage, I was just like, you know what? I just wanna bang this thing out and I did it. And I think it shows. I think it shows 100% that I was rushing to complete it. And while I think the video is still uh, good and I enjoy it, watching it back, I think the commentary is solid. I really think I could have delivered better on the visuals and I'll try to do better in the future. So speaking of the future, yes, the channel does indeed have a future. Some of you will know that we're on hiatus right now, as I like to call it, a relaxed hiatus, which just basically means maybe I make the videos, maybe I don't. And for the most part, it's been maybe I don't. Obvious exceptions, including free for all in the top 10 list and all that. But I needed to free myself up. Right now I'm going through a transition in life. I am relocating for work. We've been putting a lot of work into our house, trying to get it ready to go on the market, on the horrible American housing market. And it's just been too stressful to try to churn out regular content. Now things will be changing a little bit. I will be moving ahead of my family. I'll have some time sort of alone in a new city all by myself. And probably I'm gonna play video games, but I'm not gonna necessarily make videos about video games. Over the next few months, what you guys should expect is very little. Very little from me through probably the end of March, I would guess. I might put out videos, I might not, but mostly I'm just gonna enjoy myself. I'm gonna take some time. I'm gonna play some single player games. Right now I have a few that are sitting there that just need to be played. I've got Binary Domain, which I've started on and is really good. I've got Syndicate, also started on that, and it's really good as well, really surprisingly good. And I've got Spec Ops The Line, which I really wanna play, and a couple others that escape me right now. So I've got sort of a stockpile of games that I picked up in the last few months and weeks of 2012 that I really need to get on top of and really need to play. And this is going to afford me that opportunity. Things have really changed for me in terms of work, the amount of free time I have versus the amount of work time I have, family responsibilities, all that good stuff, the, the amazing stuff that comes along with growing up, the stuff that says, hey, you're not a kid anymore and you can't just sit around and play video games all day despite that really being the thing that you really want to do more than anything else. But yeah, earn money, support your family, all that good stuff, be a man, blah, blah, blah. So just to try to sum all that rambling up, basically, they ain't gonna be shit on the channel till April. If you wanna hang out, hang out. If you don't, I understand. It's a big internet. So that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. The final thing I wanna leave you with is uh, just keep an eye on BigDavisCheap.com. I'm working on an article right now called Honorable Indies because so much of my top 10 list was taken up by larger AAA type games. I wanted to give some of those indies I played their due. I mean, sometimes it's hard to compare games. How do you compare Borderlands 2 to Thomas Was Alone? It's really tough to do, and I want to make a little supplement to my top 10 list with some of my favorite indie games from 2012 because I've sort of unintentionally become a sort of indie guy. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know some of the games that slipped through the cracks. So look for that, BigDavisCheap.com. You can follow me on Twitter, probably, I don't know, what is it, at BigDavisCheap. And I might be on other social media that I'm not even aware of. But otherwise, just keep an eye on the website, on the Twitter, all that sort of business. Friend me on Steam, BigDavisCheap.com. And I'll see you guys eventually. Until then, I have been Big Dave. And as always, take it easy.